the F word. Focus. Focus. Not the four letter F word that you guys would normally people your age normally think of, which is food. <laughs> You're the other four letter F word that's ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Free food. <laughs> Welcome to another segment of uh, Tea with Teachers. My name is Sina. My guest today is Professor Alexander Slocum, self-proclaimed wild man and uh, international fashion model. So how do you balance the two lifestyles? Wild fashions. <laughs> my wife's an electrical engineer from here and, and, and her hobby is making clothes and stuff. She finds wacky fabrics and makes me uh, Aloha shirts. Do you have a favorite one? Whatever I pick that day. Okay. That's and it's cool. just a mood. Like today, it's time for tea with Sina. Time for tea with Sina. I like it. It's nice brown theme, similar to the color of the tea. Of this. I didn't know the cookies would be brown. I figured the tea would be. So you met with President Obama, and you wore your Hawaiian shirt. Do you think that there are certain occasions where it would be more appropriate to dress in a more professional style? When I worked at OSTP in Washington for a year, they told me you have to wear a suit. What is OSTP? It's an Office of Science and Technology Policy. I don't wear a suit. You have to wear a suit. Because I'm not working it. Please wear a suit. Okay, you said please. <laughs> so I wore a suit the first day, and I was like depressed. I said, I'm not going to spend the next year in this. So the next day, I wore suit pants, mm -hmm. suit coat, but my John Deere shirt that my wife made me, along with my John Deere tie, which mm -hmm. she also made me. Finally, a, a protocol droid said, uh, we have a dress code here in the executive branch. Something like you're wearing, you know, Arm Arm Armani suit, you know, custom uh -huh. tailored. Mm -hmm. A couple hours later, I got a call from the head counsel. Alex, I need to see you, please. All right, good. This is that. I'm getting fired, man. <laughs> We need to talk to you about your attire. It's, it's wonderful. The White House here, all the women who work here are so happy to finally see a man who's actually dressing with color and style instead of just wearing another penguin suit. If you had a warning label, what would it say? Don't talk to me unless you have a website. Your resume is totally, totally useless. The resumes have now become, it's just a fake news set up by the agriculture business. Do you have any specific smartphone apps on your phone that you just really can't live without? TurboScan. Everything else is TurboScan. Details. What is TurboScan? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the most useful app because you, you, you sketch something and then you TurboScan it. Poof, and then you can either get the color photo version of it or you can black and white and doo, it, it cleans up and gets rid of all the scribble scrabble oh, yeah. so it looks fresh and minty. Okay. I'll have to check that out. That seems like a good yeah, one for a piece set submission. If you have like a written piece set, you exactly. can just go ahead and submit it. Very neat. Going full circle question. Um, if you could pass on any wisdom to your students, what would it be? Ah! I was hoping you would ask that question. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you the secret. Because when I was here as an undergraduate, I wasn't the smartest person by any means. I was certainly the best dressed, I think. <laughs> but uh, my mom told me this secret. You're here, and that professor, he works for you. You pay his salary with your tuition. You sit right up front. And if the professor doesn't explain things to you so you can understand them, you ask them a question. So before you go to class, you flip through the book and you read. And you don't have to totally understand, but you read and you watch. Your brain will understand most of it. All you got to do is prepare. Think about it as snowboarding. You get up to the top of the lift, you throw your board down, you jump on your board, yeah! and then you're, shit! That's German, by the way, S-C-H-I-T-T. -T. Uh -huh. I forgot to put my bindings on. You spend so much time falling out of your bindings because you didn't just do a little bit of preparation. You put your foot in, you put the strap over, you click in, right? It's really stupid. Mm -hmm.